In this video we're going to have a look at how to subtract one binary number from another binary number. We're not going to look at converting them first into decimal um, and then subtracting them and then converting them back. We're going to look at a more simple method. Um, to be able to do this you need to understand how to add two binary numbers so if you don't know how to do that then have a look at that video first and then come back here otherwise it won't make much sense. Um, so we're just going to go straight into it. We're going to start with this number here. So we've got 1, 0, 1, 1, and we're going to subtract 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so how we're going to do this is we are going to turn this into an addition. This is the easiest way I find of doing it. We're going to turn this first into an addition. To do that, we need to convert this bottom number, the smaller number, into its twos complement negative representation. What that means is we're just going to change it into a negative number so that we can then add them together and change something about it at the bottom to get our answer. So to do that what we're going to do is we're going to write this out again but the bottom number we're going to flip all of the digits around. Okay, So I'm going to take the zero there, I'm going to turn that into a one, that into a zero, that into a zero and that into a zero. You're just turning the smaller number into its opposite. So now I've got one 0, 1, oops, 1, 1, and I've got 1, 0, 0, 0, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 1 to this one here, okay? This turns it into its 2's complement representation of the negative number. So, 1, 0, 1. 1 and 1, 0, 0, 1. Now what I can do is I can add these. So I've changed the bottom number into a negative number, a 2's complement negative number, okay? And now I can add them together. So I'm going to add these together using the system I used before for binary addition. Okay, so I'm going to take the 1's and 1 plus 1 is a 0 and carry the 1. Um, 1 and 1 is 0 and carry the 1 and that's just a 1 and this is 0 carry the 1. Okay, however now to go back to this original answer I need to remove this overflow bit here. Okay, I've got a little bit hanging off of the end here and if I remove that you'll see that what happens is I get my answer to this original question here because we can look here we've got 1, 2, 4 and 8 okay so here I've got uh, that's 8, 9, 10, 11 minus 7 okay 11 minus 7 is 4 and as you can see here, by following this system here, I've got one, uh, sorry, eight, four, two, one. Okay, so by following this system here, I've managed to get the answer. Okay, let's go through another example, a slightly more complicated example, to make sure that these steps work. So I'm going to take my first number here, one, zero. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, underneath I'm going to subtract the slightly smaller number 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the subtraction that I'm looking at. This is the one that I want the answer for. So, as I said before, I am first going to swap all of these digits around. So where there are ones, I'm going to put zeros. Where there are zeros, I'm going to put ones. You only do this on your second number here. You don't touch this top one here. So I'm now turning it into a twos complement negative representation. So one, zero, one, one zero one one and I'm going to turn it all around so I've now got zero one one uh, zero 
and one one zero okay final step in swapping this number around is that I'm going to add a one to it okay so what I mean by add one is I mean I add one to what this number actually represents don't just stick a one on the end of it and if this is already a one then you need to find out which one of these you need to change and which ones of these you need to change to add one to the number so what I mean is if the number represents seven you change it to eight if it represents 13 you change it to 14 you don't just stick an arbitrary one on the right or the answer won't come out correctly so for me it's easy because I've got a zero here so I'm just gonna change this into a one so I've got one zero one one zero one one and zero one one zero one one and one because I've changed that one into a one okay now I've changed this into an addition okay so that's three steps there to change this number over so that you can make it an addition and now I'm just going to use my regular um, addition rules that one and one is zero carry the one 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 is one carry the one one and one zero carry the one one and one zero carry the one three ones there one carry the one two ones there zero carry the one two ones there zero carry the one okay the last step that I just remove that one there and I get the answer okay so let's have a look and make sure we got this right so this number up here okay we've got a one two eight sixteen and a sixty four which is ninety one okay and my original number over here the original number I wanted to know I've got sixty four an eight and a one which is seventy three okay so it was 91 take 73 oops it's going a bit slowly so 91 take 73 yeah which is 8 um sorry 18 not 8 okay and as you can see here I've got a 16 and a 2 which gives me my original answer of 18 so just to go through those steps again place the numbers on top of each other on the second number change everything around all the zeros become ones all the ones become zeros finally add a one to the bottom number okay and add them together when you get the answer remove the inevitable overhanging bit that you've got so remove remove the most significant one and that will give you the answer to your original question and it's a lot easier than converting them both into decimal